Come on. That you disapprove of so much. Forget about it, all right? Today I'm here on behalf of my client, Julian Crane. Well, I don't have anything to say except no. Teresa, you cannot ignore his request for partial custody. No matter what the circumstance, he has parental rights. Well, not if the courts take them away. And you know all about that now, don't you, Ethan? I mean, that is how you and Gwen stole my daughter Let's from stick me. to the subject, if you don't mind, okay? Julian's not asking for the moon here, Teresa. He's asking for partial custody. And it's not going to change a thing. You both live in the, in the mansion, for God's sake. Really? Really, Ethan? Okay. So if Julian got partial custody of little Ethan, that would mean that he would be able to take my son anywhere he wants to, anywhere, whenever he wants. Listen, for six months out of the year, we, and he's already threatened to take him to Europe. We can make an arrangement that suits both of you. And by the way, if you share custody, he can't take little Ethan anywhere, more or less out of the country, without your permission. And since when does Julian Crane ever obey the law, Will Ethan? Will you be rational about this? You said it yourself. Julian Crane is little Ethan's biological father. No, Ethan. You are. A boy deserves to have his father in his life. And you have kept Julian at arm's length since little Ethan was born. That is not true. He can see him whenever he wants. You in theory, yes, Teresa, but we both know you've made it difficult for him. Because my son needs a real father. Your son needs a good role model, That's Teresa. right, Ethan, he does. And that's not Julian. Never. Not in a million years.